Hi, everybody. It's Dr. Eric Corum, founder of AIM7. Welcome back to The Blueprint, where we distill cutting-edge science, leadership, and life skills into simple tactics optimized for your busy lifestyle and goals. Summer is here. Thank goodness. And vacation time is upon us, and there is nothing worse than picking a bad vacation spot, either because it doesn't live up to your expectations or you just can't relax because of the environment. We've all had an experience like that. And today we're going to dive into some fascinating research that might reveal the number one vacation destination for stress relief. The article we're discussing today is titled Transient Decreases in Blood Pressure and Heart Rate with Increased Subjective Level of Relaxation While Viewing Water Compared with Adjacent Ground. And it was published in the Journal of Environmental Psychology. You cannot make these titles up, by the way. Adjacent Ground. I love it. This comprehensive study investigates the physiological and psychological effects of viewing water in outdoor settings, and the results are pretty compelling. The researchers hypothesized that there was an evolutionary basis for why water might have such a profound impact on our well-being. Now, this is what the authors are saying. They suggest that throughout human history, successfully detecting water in arid environments was crucial for survival and acted as a strong source of natural selection. In other words, our ancestors who were better at recognizing or responding to the presence of water were more likely to survive and pass on their genes. As a result, we may have evolved to experience a sense of relief and relaxation when we encounter water in our environment. I'm not really buying that reasoning, but that's what they said in the paper, so I'm just translating that to you. But what they found was pretty cool, and I like the way they set up this study. They did a series of studies, and in the first study, participants viewed a swimming pool, a tree in a parking lot, and a small sign over a busy street while their blood pressure and heart rate were measured. The results showed that viewing water for just one minute and 40 seconds reduced blood pressure significantly compared to viewing the tree and the sign. Heart rate was also lower while viewing water when compared to a sign. I find this pretty interesting because we know that walking in green spaces is really helpful for relaxation. So if you have an opportunity going to a park, but here they're even delineating between kind of looking at a green area like a tree versus water. Pretty interesting, a swimming pool at that. In the second study, the researchers took things a step further by measuring blood pressure, heart rate, and subjective ratings of relaxation in participants as they walked along a path next to a creek, two small lakes, and adjacent ground with open grassy areas and trees. So you kind of got a smaller body of water, a bigger body of water, and a green space. At each site, participants alternated between viewing the water or the ground first. The findings were pretty striking. On average, both blood pressure and heart rate were lower when viewing the water compared to the adjacent ground. And this effect was associated with higher subjective ratings of relaxation. To me, it's really important to get somebody's perception because no matter what biological signals you're looking at, your perception is kind of the reality of the moment. Um, that's another reason why in our AIM7 app, we actually ask people how they feel because we used to look at things as a sports scientist, and we would collect these objective measures of stress. But then research started showing that your perception of well-being was actually a stronger indicator for how you were adapting to stress. All right, let's get back to the study here. But this is where things got really interesting. The researchers found that the expansiveness of water also played a role in its stress-reducing effects. Wider sections of the creek and small lakes were more effective at lowering blood pressure and increasing relaxation than narrower sections of the creek. This suggests that the size and scope of the water feature might be an important factor in its ability to promote a sense of calm. So what can you take away from this? If you're looking to maximize relaxation on your next vacation, or if you just need a weekend away, or just maybe you need a break during the day, consider finding opportunities to view water, like a lake, an ocean, a river, or even your swimming pool. And if a getaway isn't in the cards right now, don't underestimate the power of incorporating water views in your daily life. 
take a long stroll next to a creek or spend time in a park with a pond could provide some much needed stress relief or do like I do and go to your friend's house and sit next to their pool. If you like these types of practical tips, then I highly recommend you check out my weekly newsletter adaptation. I'm starting a new series on the five pillars for building adaptive capacity, the fundamentals for living a healthy and thriving life. I haven't gone over this in a long time, so I'm starting that series on Friday. Check out the link in the show notes if you want to hop into that series. Until next time, stay curious, stay consistent, and keep chasing excellence. Excellence.